What up guys, this is Pastor Canal again, we're coming up with another tutorial in JavaScript. We're going to be talking about functions returning a value. When when the function uh, passes an argument, the the function starts uh, executing the block of code, and when that task is complete, it will return a value. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to see an example right here, we're going to use a function declaration, which we're going to do a function. And then we're going to do uh, my number. We're going to do open closing parentheses, open and closing brackets, or curly brackets. And then right here we're going to say return uh, 2000, semicolon. And then um, right here we're going to say my number. my number and then we're going to say times times four semicolon and then here we're going to do we're going to use a variable let result equals my number times four and then right here we're going to see show show message and we're going to do results. And, and the semicolon, and that should give me a result of 8,000, right? Let's save it. Refresh our browser. Yeah, it gave me 8,000. That was pretty example. Pretty good one. All right. So let's just do another one. So let's just do, let's use a function expression right now. So let's see, let, Hmm, let's do, let my function equals function, and then open closing parentheses, we're going to pass two parameters, we're going to say num, comma, num2, okay, we're going to open and closing uh, brackets, curly brackets, and then right here we're going to say, um, let uh, result equals to num divided by num2 semicolon and then right here we're going to return result semicolon and right here we're going to invoke this by doing a variable name let let's just see result uh, let's just say result variable or result number equals to uh, we're going to do um, my function the variable name and then open close the parentheses and then we're going to <clears throat> we're going to pass the argument right here we're going to say uh, 1000 comma uh, 500 right and the semicolon and then we're going to say show message and we're going to pass right here result result number Okay, and the semicolon, save it, and we should have number two. That's right, that's correct. So now, let's do a pretty cool example right here. That worked pretty good. Let's just do function. Let's uh, convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, to cell has been Celsius. Celsius has been Celsius. Cells Celsius. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so right here we're going to pass a, a parameter. We're going to say F for Fahrenheit, and then open and call it 
and open and closing curly brackets and then right here we are going to say return and then that's where where the formula is for the conversion is going to be 5 divided by 9 and then times open and closing parentheses inside here is going to say f for um, that argument and then we're going to say 32 okay and the semicolon and then right here we are going to call so show message and then we're going to say two celsius two celsius and then right here we're going to do the argument so let's see so we want what is going to be a hundred degrees Fahrenheit in celsius save that and see what we got we get 37.7778 and to make sure I already kind of did this example before and this is what we got uh, 100 Fahrenheit to Celsius is 37.7 which that's what we have cool so that worked all right guys hopefully this helped you out in your journey so don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next okay have a good night bye